What's up, YouTube? We're, this is a Dividend Stock King with another video about the stock market. Today, we're looking at EPR properties, and we're looking at the properties and stuff that they're own, and uh, how uh, they right now, as recording this video, they cut their dividend, or I think it was quarterly, but their stuff is getting hit by this uh, virus. So, uh, Stuff will close, but I think once everything goes back up to where they were, this is a long-term play in my opinion. This is my opinion. Make you do your own research for buying or selling any stock on the market. So let's get to the property map here. They own a lot of stuff. They own movie theaters. They own eat and play attractions, ski resorts, uh, experimental lodging, gaming, uh, gyms, private schools, or early child health. Early childhood uh, educating centers. And you look in the United States, they're pretty, you know, uh, they have a golf place in Pittsburgh. I'm sorry, and uh, yeah, Pennsylvania, PA, uh, uh, North Carolina, they're in Florida, they're in Texas, uh, with IMAX, they're on a movie theater, golf. There's a lot of stuff they own in the United States, and they're very diversified. The bad thing about this is everything they own is pretty much human to human, building, going to services. So it's it's uh, all these businesses are either shut down or slowly open up at a time of recording this video. So you see, so come to the composition, you will look at you know the the biggest that they own is four percent cent of um. AMC movie theaters, 22% of eating play, 8% ski resorts, 6% attractions, gaming too, culture is one, uh, the gym is one, private schools, education 11%, the portfolio with private schools at 6 and 5% of early childhood education. So uh, they're diversified, but they're like most of it is in theaters, and theaters took the biggest hit. Um, I don't think the movie theater will ever go out of business because movie theater. Even though if the movie if the movie comes out uh, on demand, I think people will still go to the theater to have that experience. Um, some AMC's have food, and it could be a nice date night for people, or, or a second, third date, or a couple going out, or a married couple going out. People want to get away from the house sometimes. So it's okay to watch a movie at home with the family, but sometimes adults want to go to a movie and watch pop eat popcorn have a drink and watch a movie in a nice chair and or you know what i'm saying so i don't I, in my opinion i don't think movie the theaters will go out of business i think it's a great business especially in the summertime with kids out of school um something to get them at the house watch a movie um you know that's just my opinion i think that the, the experience of movie theater is top notch i mean you go in you watch all the previews of movies, movie coming out get the popcorn the high price popcorn the high price food um and you go out there to have a good time and get at the house have a date get at the house do some to do some watch a movie together it's different we watch it at home and you watch it in a theater you watch it at home you be on your phone you can pause it you be in a different thing. With movie theater, you just pay to watch it. You'll be glued. That will be on your phone. Um, that's the biggest thing. Eat and play, ski resorts. I like it that, you know, they're diversified in a lot of different ways. Here's the po here's an overview. I like it. Um, right now, they, it was a monthly paying dividend, but I think they moved to quarterly. So this is a great example of, you know, you see here, 369 locations, 44 states, and some in Canada, eat and play. Eat and play is a little bit of golf stuff. Um, fit, it fits his properties, eight operators, and it's Top Golf. It's uh, Top Golf. What else is there? It's all stuff too. Let me see. This movie, Top Golf. I'm pretty more sure the more things they own. But yeah, do the homework on the company. And I think it's a good. It, my opinion, since everything's closed, 
it's a good time to get in it now for the long term hold because things will open up. The Fed will come back, the ski resort, the in play, all that will come back in the forefront. So I believe all that will work out for the best. The gyms will open back up full of people. I think people been in the house so long. I think when it open up the floodgate, it's going to open up a big floodgate. People going to the gym, going to the movie theater. I think all oh, that would be great. So that's the end of my video. Really quick, uh, um, really quick uh, video. Do a real research on this stock here. I own, uh, I own 18 shares. Not too many, but um, the past five years, really quickly, you see how much thing was caught. It was doing pretty well. Five years, it was doing well. If you invest in this, you're not making a bad investment. But you see how much they, they was cost? It was, it was $70, $75, $70. This thing was a lot of money. But now it's worth $30. So it's, I think it's a good time to get into it now. It's starting to creep up a little bit. I think it's time to get into it now. Because now it's worth $30. So I think it's a good time to get into it now. Because now it's worth $30. So I think it's a good time to get into it now. But you look at the five year trend, it was $50, $60, $80 a stair. So right now is a good time to get into it. My name is Tyler, Dennis Dark King. Thanks for watching.